Hey, good morning. It is March 12th. It's a chilly March morning. Um, a couple of weeks ago, I was in shirt sleeves, and now it's hovering just below freezing again. It's about uh, 27 degrees out here. And I've uh, taken the old adage to be bold and start cold. And uh, I am. <laughs> I am cold. Just starting out trying to warm up. Hopefully the walk-in will do it. But I am at uh, Parker's Creek Preserve in the American Chestnut Land Trust area. Uh, it's one of my favorite places to come out and walk. Um, great preserve, a lot of acreage. And I'm excited today because uh, just last Saturday on the 4th, um, they've opened a brand new trail here. Um, you used to have to choose the south section or the north section and then there was the Prince Frederick to Bay Trail which was nice a little extension that went all the way out to downtown Prince Frederick but now there's a 2.2 mile section that connects the north and the south halves the big obstacle to that was Parker's Creek and they've now got a little ferry raft system uh, as opposed to a bridge that you can take across the creek and join the two. So I'm going to try to do a point to point. I just started at the south trailhead and I am on the uh, Flint Loop, kind of the west side of the uh, yellow loop down here. I'm going to hook into the north south and go on up and I'm going to try to walk out to Prince Frederick today in a point to point hike. Should be eight ish miles and I'm going to try to do it quick. <laughs> because I got family at home, but uh, yeah, looking forward to the day, uh, if I can warm up. Starting 15 years ago or so, um, the trails that ran up through this valley started to get encroached by uh, water backed up by beaver dams. You can see now it's uh, become a wetland. Most of the trees out there are dead, falling down. So um, they've sort of embraced it, relocated the trails. I'm going to be going over this little ridge that's across here and then uh, back down on the other side. Uh, cross over uh, the valley again and then up in there somewhere is the north-south trail that'll head out uh, to the left to the north here and uh, yeah we'll see where that goes all right I think this is it this is the cemetery trail I'm on blue ribbon there faint trail there that I think is the new one another blue ribbon and then this plunges down the hill I just climbed up and why I'm out of breath so uh, not well marked yet no signs in place but I think this is it it's in the right direction so here we go 2.2 miles to Parker's Creek hopefully well uh, no that's not it this sort of peters out in about 100 yards so I'm gonna go on down and trust that they've marked it better now that it's uh, marked officially open. So we'll go on down cemetery here and see if I can find an intersection. That's better. So I have uh, come around here, around this yellow loop, back up, up to here. So now we're following the pink all the way across and then out to Prince Frederick there. All right, let's see what we can do. All right, so this thing's starting off uh, kind of rolling along the top of these ridges up and down a little bit. But uh, I have a feeling I'm going to be plunging down into the creek valley here because uh, according to that map, there were like seven bridges on it. So I think I'm going to go down and follow the tributaries up to Parker's Creek. Oh yeah, here we go. So down we go. 
into the valley. Not gonna be that easy. <laughs> I went down into the valley, straight up the other side. So, yeah, this, uh, this might be a rough two miles if we keep doing that. Because those hills are, uh, as you saw, they're short, but they're steep. So, yeah, we'll see. That's what happens when you try a new trail and a new adventure. Whew. Between that tree and several others here, there's probably, I don't know, 80 or so robins flying around. I wouldn't have thought there's enough water down there, but that there is a beaver lodge. It, uh, it has holes in the roof. So, probably hadn't been used in a while. I'm thinking this whole valley must have been flooded a little bit more at one point. <laughs> Is it heavier than it looks? Yeah. <laughs> it's easier if you're on it, I think. Yeah, I bet. I appreciate all the hard work here. Is it awesome? Yeah, it's pretty cool. How is that trail over there? Um, the last half mile is pretty good. Before that, I mean, it's still a good trail, but it's really steep up and down, in and out of all the little creek valleys. Okay, so I, thought, I heard it was pretty up and yeah. down. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a workout. Is it? Yep. Okay. Are you, are you a ground? Yeah, you are. You're pushing up sand. Okay. All right. Thanks. This is pretty cool. It's a nice raft. Unfortunately, I can't quite get there from here. Like if I can get to the bridge there, I'll help it out. Nice ice. <laughs> I knew it was cold, but. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. downstream. <laughs> this is cool. Hopefully the cable will pull me back up to the landing. Alright. Touchdown. Alright, so I'm back in somewhat familiar territory. I'm across the across Parker's Creek on the raft. That was pretty cool. Uh, although it didn't quite match up to the uh, to the landings quite well. It looked like the river was a little low, but that's alright. That was neat. Um, I'm now walking on the old road that used to bridge across that creek right where the raft is and uh, in the northern section. Um, Yeah, that new section, uh, pretty cool. 2.2 new miles of trail, but uh, it's a workout. It was, um, it did not follow the valley. Uh, I think, frankly, the valley's too wet most of the time, so 
you'd cross the creek and then go straight up a bluff and then wind around on the ridges a little while kind of up and down a little bit through laurel and then go straight down a hill and I mean straight down really steep uh, steps in places switchbacks everywhere else well sometimes just straight down cross another bridge go straight up the other side probably did that five or six times so uh, yeah um, not a stroll in the woods it was a hike uh, <laughs> through there so so yeah as it occurs to me now that I'm up here on the northern side and I'm headed toward the Prince Frederick to Bay Trail uh, I'm gonna hang a left and head out to Prince Frederick and then the only challenge I'll have is getting a ride back to uh, where I started but um, yeah I'm, I'm through hiking sort of <laughs> through hiking the Parker's Creek Preserve well uh, yeah it's, it's neat it's uh, great to be able to do a significant distance uh, you know significant for a day hike uh, point to point in this area I'm so glad they opened that up that's a really uh, really nice feature So uh, I probably didn't point out that there's really nice trail signage through here. As I seem to recall, it's not quite 4.9 from here out to Prince Frederick, but um, still. Uh, arrows color-coded to the blazes that you'll see. Um, and little numbered markers that correspond to the map. It's pretty good. So here we go to Prince Frederick. If you don't count the bridges and the raft, sort of thing. This is my uh, first sign of civilization. It's a power line cut. This is the uh, one of the power line feeds out of a uh, Calvert nuclear power plant to San Sala here. Actually nice to uh, get out into some open sky though for a little bit. Mysterious old barn and a no name gravel road. It does appear there's a parking area here, which uh, wasn't here last time I was here. So it's another intermediate access it's good to know about. Just in case I haven't filmed it yet, these are some nice bridges. And they count down. This one's number three. In this case, counting down to the Prince Frederick Trailhead. But the other one was counting down. Uh, I had the same number, five, on the North-South Trail counting down. Bridge number two, one more to go. Here's something new for today, a nice deep dark pine and cedar tunnel. old dilapidated barn here as I cross Tobacco Ridge Road. I seem to recall there used to be a slight road walk here, but now it's just a crossing. Let's see if I'm remembering that right. That would be an improvement if they fix that. Two things. One, yes the road walk is no more. Two, just uh, thought this little young poplar grove was interesting. All these very narrow straight trunks. Uh, it's almost like, uh, I don't know, like an ant. I'm an ant walking through. That's just weird. Everything's just so straight. <laughs> There's no, no old trees and they're all these straight poplars. It's kind of neat looking through here. All right, GPS is 8.4, uh, I'm sorry, 
and I am in spitting distance of the end here. So, um, you know, I've heard it said that uh, the reason you travel from place to place is to see what's in between, and uh, that was certainly what today was. Um, I always like coming back to places that I've been before, um, particularly if you get to do it during different seasons and see how everything's changed. There's always something new to see, always something different. Um, as the pulse of the world, you know, makes everything change. And today it was a flock of robins and migrating uh, cardinals in the woods and woodpeckers and um, flowers starting to bloom. Uh, last time I was here, it was all green and hot. So, you know, it's just different every time. But um, yeah, seeing what's in between. Uh, today was all about figuring out what that new connector trail between north and south was. Uh, and it's a nice trail um, definitely a workout definitely not a stroll in the woods but that's uh, that's good for the kind of stuff I like to do so anyway it's a great day and uh, we're coming out here at uh, Vianney Church in downtown Prince Frederick uh, the next thing on my agenda is to try to find a ride out of here and get back to where I left my car but uh, I can safely say I through hiked uh, Parker's Creek at the American Chestnut Land Trust. All right, so just to wrap things up, here's the, uh, the Western Trailhead in Prince Frederick, St. John Vianney Church, the uh, meeting hall that way, the church is actually up here, as is Main Street, Prince Frederick, so I'm gonna walk up here and get a ride. But uh, there you have it, Prince Frederick to Bay, north-south, and uh, American Chestnut Land Trust at Parker's Creek Preserve. Thanks for walking with me. See you next time.